Hello. Don't forget to like and subscribe before starting the video. Who is Warren G. Harding? Warren G. Harding was the 29th President of the United States, serving from 1921 to 1923. He was born in Ohio in 1865 and began his political career as a newspaper publisher. He later served in the Ohio State Senate and as Lieutenant Governor of Ohio before being elected to the United States Senate in 1914. Harding ran for president in 1920 on a platform of normalcy, a return to pre-World War I stability and prosperity. He won the election in a landslide, carrying 37 out of 48 states. However, Harding's presidency was marred by numerous scandals that rocked his administration and damaged his reputation. The most infamous of these scandals was the Teapot Dome scandal, in which government officials accepted bribes in exchange for granting oil drilling leases on public lands. Harding's personal life was also scandalous, with rumors of extramarital affairs and other improprieties. In this video, we will explore Harding's rise to power, his administration's policies and initiatives, and the scandals that plagued his presidency. We will discuss the Teapot Dome scandal in detail, as well as Harding's personal life and affairs. Finally, we will examine Harding's legacy and impact on American history. Warren G. Harding's campaign for the presidency in 1920 was centered on the idea of return to normalcy. After the upheaval of World War I, Harding promised a return to the pre-war era of stability and prosperity, with a focus on domestic issues and a less interventionist foreign policy. Harding won the election in a landslide, defeating Democrat James M. Cox by a margin of 404 electoral votes to 127. The Republican Party also gained control of both houses of Congress. Once in office, Harding pursued a number of key policies and initiatives. He signed the Budget and Accounting Act of 1921, which established a national budget system and required the president to submit an annual budget to Congress. He also signed the Emergency Tariff Act of 1921, which raised tariffs on imports in an effort to protect American industry. One of the most significant initiatives of Harding's administration was the Washington Naval Conference of 1921-1922. This conference, which Harding called for shortly after taking office, brought together representatives from the major naval powers to discuss disarmament and naval limitations. The resulting agreements, known as the Five Power Treaty and Four Power Treaty, helped to reduce tensions between the major powers and paved the way for future disarmament efforts. Overall, Harding's administration was focused on domestic issues and aimed to promote economic growth and stability. However, the scandals that would eventually plague his presidency were already brewing beneath the surface. The Teapot Dome scandal was one of the biggest political scandals in American history, and it was a major blow to Warren G. Harding's presidency. The scandal involved the illegal leasing of federal oil reserves to private companies, and it came to light in 1922. The Teapot Dome scandal centered around two oil reserves, the Teapot Dome Reserve in Wyoming and the Elk Hills Reserve in California. These reserves had been set aside by the government to ensure a steady supply of oil for the Navy. However, during Harding's presidency, two of his cabinet members, Secretary of the Interior Albert Fall and Secretary of the Navy Edwin Denby, conspired to lease the reserves to private oil companies in exchange for bribes. Fall received cash payments and gifts, including a herd of sheep and a luxury yacht. When news of the scandal broke in 1922, it caused a national sensation. Fall was the first cabinet member in American history to be sent to prison for crimes committed while in office. The scandal also tarnished Harding's reputation, as he was accused of being either involved in the scandal or complicit in covering it up. While Harding himself was not directly implicated in the scandal, he was criticized for appointing corrupt officials to his cabinet and for failing to take action when he learned of the corruption. The Teapot Dome scandal damaged the public's trust in government and contributed to a wave of public disillusionment that would last for years. In the end, the Teapot Dome scandal had significant consequences for American politics. It led to greater scrutiny of government corruption and paved the way for reforms that aimed to increase transparency and accountability in government. Warren G. Harding's personal life was marred by scandal and controversy, with rumors of extramarital affairs and other improprieties that would eventually come to light after his death. 
Harding was known to have had numerous extramarital affairs, including with Carrie Fulton Phillips, the wife of a close friend and political supporter. Phillips was a frequent visitor to the White House during Harding's presidency, and she and Harding exchanged numerous love letters that were later discovered and published in the press. In addition to his affair with Phillips, Harding was also rumored to have had affairs with several other women, including Nan Britton, a young woman who claimed to have had a child with Harding out of wedlock. These personal scandals had the potential to impact Harding's presidency in a number of ways. For one, they damaged his reputation and made him vulnerable to attacks from political opponents and the press. They also raised questions about his judgment and his ability to govern effectively. In addition, some historians believe that Harding's personal scandals may have distracted him from his duties as president and contributed to a lack of focus and direction in his administration. In the midst of the Teapot Dome scandal, for example, Harding was also dealing with the fallout from a botched attempt to reduce government spending, as well as with tensions between the Republican Party and his own administration. Overall, the scandals surrounding Harding's personal life had a significant impact on his presidency and on his legacy. While he was able to accomplish some notable policy achievements during his time in office, his personal scandals continue to overshadow his accomplishments and to raise questions about his fitness for the presidency. Warren G. Harding's legacy is a complicated one, marked by both accomplishments and scandal. On the one hand, he oversaw important policy initiatives, such as the Washington Naval Conference, which aimed to reduce the threat of global conflict by limiting the size of naval armaments. He also worked to support the growth of American industry and to promote economic prosperity. However, Harding's presidency was also marred by scandal and corruption, particularly the Teapot Dome scandal and the revelations about his personal life. These scandals damaged his reputation and contributed to a sense of disillusionment and cynicism among the American people. In the years since Harding's presidency, historians have sought to reassess his legacy and to place his accomplishments and failures in context. Some have argued that Harding's presidency was more successful than it is often given credit for, while others have emphasized the ways in which his personal scandals and the scandals within his administration reflected broader issues of corruption and cronyism in American politics. Ultimately, Harding's presidency can be seen as a cautionary tale about the dangers of unchecked power and the importance of transparency and accountability in government. It highlights the need for strong ethical leadership and for a commitment to upholding the values of democracy and public service. In the end, Harding's legacy serves as a reminder of the complexities and challenges of American politics and of the ongoing struggle to balance the competing demands of power and responsibility. In conclusion, we have explored the presidency of Warren G. Harding, the 29th President of the United States, and the scandals that surrounded his administration. We discussed Harding's rise to power, his key policies and initiatives, and the scandals that ultimately overshadowed his legacy. We highlighted the Teapot Dome scandal, one of the most infamous political scandals in American history, and the personal scandals that plagued Harding's presidency. We also discussed the impact that these scandals had on his reputation and on the broader political landscape of the time. The significance of Harding's presidency and scandals in American history cannot be overstated. They represent a turning point in American politics, as the public began to demand greater transparency and accountability from their leaders. They also shed light on the dangers of corruption and the need for ethical leadership in government. We encourage viewers to further explore the topic of Harding's presidency and to engage in discussion and debate about its significance. By learning from the mistakes of the past, we can work towards a brighter and more just future for all. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it informative, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future.